What's up guys, Sammy here, and today I've got an unboxing and review of the TT Esports Contour Mobile Gaming Controller. So as the name implies, this is a gaming controller that is made especially for iOS devices and works wirelessly through Bluetooth. So taking a quick look around the box, as we can see on the left side of the box it has some info of what's included in the box. On the back it has a little bit of information about the controller experience, its 10 plus hour battery and last but not least the adjustable grip which allows you to use your iPhone in tandem with the controller. But without further ado, let's jump into the unboxing portion of this video. So as you can see after sliding out the box we have the controller itself but before we get into that let's check out what else is included. So as you can see we have that micro USB to USB cable for charging the controller, a quick start guide for easy setup and finally warranty information. So taking a first look and review of the controller, at first thought it looks a little bit like a square type Xbox One controller. You'll notice that the Xbox One colors are different for the A, B, X and Y to this controller. In the middle we have that on slash off button, a Bluetooth button for putting the device in discovery mode, LED indicators for battery slash Bluetooth, and last a pause slash start button. Also on the back we have that micro USB port for charging the controller. So let's talk a little bit about that adjustable grip. At the bottom of the controller there is a release plate or release area to reveal it. At this point you can put it up to an iPhone 6s plus in it, uh, even sometimes with a case like you can see I've done with mine. The problem with the adjustable grip is that it feels like it's back heavy with the phone, so it feels like it's heavier to hold with the controller in your hand. And another problem here is the bottom part of the grip feels like it could snap with enough force. The next problem I had was with playing some games, i.e. the clickable buttons on the left stick and the right stick, which a lot of games take use of. A lot of the buttons on this controller felt like they had no springs except for the LB and RB. Now I know it sounds like I'm you know, listing just all of its weaknesses but there was some good too. The controller sticks actually felt very comfortable to use and I may just go as far to say that they might be a little better than the Xbox One controller sticks. So what are my final thoughts on this product? Well, if you're looking for a controller for iOS gaming, I'm not sure I would recommend this one. I didn't really enjoy the experience of holding this and maybe that's just because I'm coming from an Xbox One and PS4. Uh, but with the areas on the back of the controller which are flat, my fingers didn't really feel comfortable. The LB slash RB and the LT slash RT buttons felt unresponsive as well and overall I wasn't truly impressed and I think that there is definitely a lot of room for improvement with the Gen 2 controller possibly coming in the future, who knows. But uh, that's going to be it for this video, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did please click that like button and subscribe. Also special thanks to Thermal Take for sending me this product for review. Uh, but yeah that's going to be it, hope you guys have an awesome day and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!